what's up how you doing good morning it's Sunday today we're gonna to try a coffee that I've never had before Dalmeyer uh, Prodomo coffee it's made in Germany has an expiration date on here May 2022 so uh, like I said I've never had this before so this is my first time Get, open it up here Okay, that's a very good seal. Do a smell test here. Oh, that's good coffee. This coffee smells really good. Mm. <clears throat> that is delicious. Very delicious coffee. It's airtight too. They seal it so it's packed in there without any air. Mm. Ah, that smells uh, that smells like it's really good coffee so 500 grams in here wow so anyway I'm going to go inside and I'm going to surprise everybody with this coffee I'll do like they do in those fancy restaurants where they replace the good coffee with Folgers and everybody takes a sip out of the Folgers and is very, very, very impressed. So this is not Folgers. I think this is better. Although it doesn't have those uh, crystals in here. But it does smell delicious. Anyway, I'm going to go inside and make some coffee. All right, I'm back. Gave some to my wife fresh coffee um, so we're gonna give it a try here that's good coffee good quality rich nice flavor mm. yeah this is the kind of coffee if you're out hiking or camping overnight you want to bring some of this along it'll make you feel good um, Dalmeyer or Del Meyer, Del Meyer, Prodomo, Prodomo, whole bean coffee, good coffee, highly recommended, uh, uh, right there, see how the, like I said, it's made in Germany, and uh, good flavor, I was surprised the other night to turn on the television set and find out that a new season of Alone is showing. I love that show Alone. First guy got kicked off, not kicked off, he, he, uh, he was suffering chest pains, which he says he had a heart attack, a massive one, a few years back, so I don't know how he ended up going on this show. So he, he was suffering from chest pains on the, uh, on the episode, and he called up and told him, come get me. Um, but if you have that kind of a condition, I don't recommend going on that show. You're in the middle of nowhere. There are grizzly bears and mountain lions around. So, yeah, not a good thing if you have a heart condition to go on that show. Good coffee. Hmm. Anyway, I, I am a big fan of that show. And, uh, you know, the more uh, people are, uh, you know, going in for a, uh, a tryout, the more you see that they have better skills in hunting and building shelters in the uh, first season you didn't see any of that uh you know it was just basically endurance but now a lot of these guys and women they get on these shows and they can hunt they can build shelters only problem i see the is the uh the grizzly bear situation and the mountain lion mountain lions are sneaky they come from the back they jump on you they get those uh, fangs in the back of your neck going and the claws the the big nails they have big fingernails 
they dig into you, they shred you, and then they get you from the front and they remove your throat and eat that first. Grizzly bears eventually go into hibernation, but even even those things, uh, you know, unless you're Leonardo DiCaprio, you cannot fight one of those off. So very dangerous up there. In reality, you'd be up there with a with a rifle or something like that, you know. But these guys have pepper spray, and I don't know. Sometimes pepper spray just annoys the bear a little bit more. Anyway, that's it. Have a good Sunday. Mm -hmm.